To create a basic localization solution when using Unreal, we use the built-in localization features of the engine. In this short video, we will give a brief overview how the Unreal localization system works in the current engine version 4.21 in combination with the Artesy importer for Unreal. After opening up the project in Unreal, open the localization dashboard. Go to the title bar, Window, Localization Dashboard. Go to Category, Gather from Packages, check it and unfold its child properties. Add an entry to the Include Pass Wildcards array. Select the pass Content slash Artesy Content slash Generated slash Asterisk from your project to base the localization data on the strings in the assets generated by the Artesy importer for Unreal. Now go to the Culture category and select your source language as the native culture by clicking the little radio button. In our case it's English. Then click Add New Culture and select your target language. I will choose German here. Click Gather Text and confirm with OK after completion. Next, select Edit Translation for this culture down in the Action cell for the target language. Now you can do the translation directly within the engine or export the strings for external translators. For this, click on Export to PO. After finishing the translation, import the strings by selecting Import from PO. Close this window to return to the localization dashboard. Go to the cultures category again. Now select Compile Text and confirm with OK after completion. Close the localization window and go to the project settings. Title bar, Edit, Project Settings. Now go to Project Packaging. Unfold the additional items in the list to get to Localizations to Package. To not having to go through the entire list, select the radio button Show Localized and check your translated target language. Run the game now. When you select Play, the game runs in the editor, loading the native language. Selecting Launch runs the game outside the editor. The game automatically tries to load the language that matches the OS language setting. Otherwise, it will default to the native language. If your translated language is German, your operating system is set to German, but your game is still displayed in English, you might need to restart the engine once to have all changes properly updated. There is one additional thing I'd like to mention. If you want to filter your Artesy export, because you might not need all properties for your project, you can do so with the help of the export rule sets and the filtering option via the data layout editor. Within Artesy, open the export rule sets and select the data layout editor. Expand the selection menu from the right side. For example, we could decide here that we don't need menu text and stage directions for dialog fragments in our export. But please keep in mind that properties you exclude from your export will not just be excluded for the sake of localization, but from the entire project. For more information about the Artesy importer for Unreal, which is available as an open source project, please visit our GitHub page. If you are using Unity or a different engine, we have dedicated videos for you regarding localization solutions with Artesy. All links can be found in the video description below.